and action. <laughs> hey everyone, Professor Michael Scanlon here. Um, I wanted to do a demonstration and something that you can do at home, but there's gonna be a huge caveat with this one, right? I need like a, a, a standout bright warning sign that, that I can, can you edit one in here please? Thank you. Perfect. So, warning. If you're going to try this at home, be very careful, okay? Only let an adult do this. If you're not an adult, you can stand back a ways away and watch in awe, all right? What we're gonna be dealing with today is combustion, okay? What is that? Well, that's a very violent chemical reaction when something reacts with oxygen and it's not really an explosion, but it's not just setting something on fire either. It's a very violent fire reaction. So I'm gonna do it, and then I will show how an adult may do it at home. Do not try this unless you are a responsible, mature adult, in which case you probably won't wanna try it anyway. So you better just watch. So I've got a glass jar, and I'm gonna take the lid off. And I've got some alcohol. Now, what works really the best with this is ethanol. Um, and we do have ethanol here. I'm gonna run with isopropyl alcohol because it's probably, <clears throat> sorry, the pollen is just so ridiculous. Isopropyl alcohol because that's probably what you're gonna be having in your, in your homes. Um, I have 91%. You can use 70%, that's pretty common. Um, concentration of alcohol that people have in their homes and I've got a glass container and I'm just gonna put just a little bit just a little bit of alcohol in here now like I said this does work best with ethanol so if you don't get it as dramatic as you'd like that's okay so I'm gonna cap this off and I'm just gonna shake it up now what we're doing in shaking it up is we're trying to saturate the air in here with alcohol vapor as much as possible. So we want a good mixture of air, which has oxygen, and alcohol vapor so that when we're gonna light it on fire, you can have a combustion reaction right here and it's really cool when it works. It's called a whoosh bottle, W-H-O-O-S-H, -O -O because somebody thought that was a really scientific term. I have no idea. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn the lights off because it's gonna be really dramatic. With the lights off, it's gonna be totally anticlimactic with the lights on. I've got a flame, flame into the open mouth of this container and there you go. Wonderful, beautiful reaction. Now how can I do this at home? I don't want you to, but if you're dead set on it, Look, these whoosh bottles are all over YouTube. Tons of people have tried it at home. So if you're dead set on it, you probably don't have one of those bottles. <clears throat> I took one of my daughter's used bottles, with cream soda, took the label off, right? Washed it off, rinsed it out really well. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add just a little bit of alcohol. Now don't do this with plastic, it's glass. Whenever you do this with ethanol, it's like woof, 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 where it gets its name. <clears throat> I don't have a cap for this, so I'm using my original cap. Again, we want to saturate the air in here with alcohol vapor as much as possible. That's saturated. So, if we did it right, we'll get a smaller version of that. I'm going to turn the lights off again so we can see. Again, flame, 
Play him on. There we go. Play him into the mouth. Play him into the mouth. There we go. Ah. Uh, I didn't have quite enough of a saturation of the air in there. Um, to be honest, my goofy little trick of trying to shake it up with this cap on just didn't work. Uh, and I lost some alcohol in the process. But you saw that you do get a reaction. Now, again, I'm using isopropyl alcohol. I do recommend if you're going to do this, you use something like that because it is a slower, less dramatic thing than just a woof, woof, woof. I mean, it's... Look it up on YouTube and you'll see what I mean. Anyway, stay safe, everybody. Stay safe. All right. Stay home. Forkham Demons. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.